take a new lesson today that is called the distributive property. Okay, what do we mean by the distributive property? It means that I want to break down some number because I don't know the multiplication table. Sometimes it's um, a, a large number times a small number and I don't know how to solve this. So I'm going to break down the numbers so I can find the multiplication. So let's see, for example, for an example. Let's find the product of six times seven. Mm, I don't remember six times seven, it's difficult. No, it's not difficult. You can find six times seven in several ways. Let me teach you how to solve six times seven in an easy way. Let's draw six times seven. How many rows do we have? Let's draw an array of six rows. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And how many columns will we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so this is an array that represents six times seven. Let's break it down to smaller arrays. Okay, now we have five five columns colored in uh, orange and two columns color, colored in a in green so i broke down the what the seven i broke down what the seven so i broke down the seven to five and two okay so this is six this uh, orange array represents six Six, I broke down the, uh, the 7 to 5 and 2 as here. Now, this array represents, this orange represents 6 times 5, right? And the green one is 6 times 2. This is 6 times 5 and this is 6 times 2. And to find the total number, I'm going to add them. So now can we find 6 times 5? Yes, because I know how what 6 times 5 is. 6 times 5, it's easy, it's 30, and 6 times 2 is easy also, it's 12. So now we add them, uh, 30 plus 12 is 42. Let's see another example, or another way to break it down. We can break down the, as the, the 7 as we want, to several, in several ways. We can break it down to 3 and 4. So we broke down here, we broke down the 7 to 3 and 4. So the first array represents 6 times 3. And the second part represents 6 times 4. So here we have, we broke down the 7 to 3 and 4. So the first array represents 6 times 3, the second part of the array represents 6 times 4, so 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times 4 is 24 and the result will be at the end is 42. So breaking down the array makes it easy to find the multiplication, okay? Let's see another example. Use the model to find the product by using the distribu distributive property. <coughs> now, 7 times 9, let's draw 7 times 9. We will have 7 rows and 9 columns. So, let's draw it at 1. This is, these are 7. Count them with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, and seven. Okay, and how many columns will I have? Nine columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now this example is broke. We broke down the nine to what? These are four, and these are these are four, and these are five. So the nine will broke them down to what? To four and five. Now, the first array, the orange array, is represented by seven times four, and the second array is seven. We didn't change the number of rows, so they are seven times five. Seven times four is 28, and seven times five is 35. Now, we want to add 28 and 35. Let me remind you, how do we add? We add from the ones. We start from the ones, the eight and the five. So the eight plus five, we can do it in several ways. Now I have eight and I have five. So the eight needs two to become 10. It takes it from the five. Now 10 and three, is what 13 or we can count after 8 after 8 what do we do put 5 up 5 fingers and count after 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so 9 uh, 8 plus the 5 is 13 so i only put the 3 down and the one tens goes with the tens. So one and two is three. Three and three is six. So the result will be 63. The result is 63. Let's see another example. Five times 11. Okay, now how, how will we draw this? We will have five rows and how many columns? 11. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Now, how did he break down the 11? He broke it down to 10 and 1. So he broke the 11 to what? 10 and 1. Okay, now here we have the five. We left the rows untouched. We didn't do anything for the rows. So five is equal to 10 and one. Now, this is equal to, now the first array is five times 10, the smaller array, the orange array, and the other one is five times one. 5 times 10 is what? 50. 5 times 1 is 5. And the total number is 55. Very good. Excellent. If you said 55, it's excellent. Now, let's see. This is an example from your booklet. Uh, now, here we have 6 times 7. This is represented by six rows and six times nine, I'm sorry, represented by six rows and nine columns. So we divided the columns, the nine columns to what? Five and four. Now, now we will distribute the six. This is why it's called distributive property, distributive property. Because we distribute the 6. So it's 6 times 5 and 6 times 4. Yes, so it's 6 times 5, 6 times 5, and 6 times 4. Okay, now 6 times 5 is what? Yes, 30. 6 times 4 is 
24. So now let's add the ones on the ones. 4 and 0 is 4. And the tens on the tens. 3 plus 2 is 5. So it's 54. Here we have 6 times 8. So we divided this. 8 to 6 and 2 okay now we distribute the 7 so 7 times 6 and 7 times 2 now 7 times 6 is what 42 7 times 2 is 14 now 42 and 14 we add the one 4 plus 2 is 6, and 1 plus 4 is 5, so it's 56, okay? Now let's learn another way to find, to apply the distributive property. We're going to break the model to smaller parts. Let's see what we mean. Now, we're not going to draw the whole uh, array. We're just going to draw a sample, a model. Now, here we have 3 by 8. How many boxes do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, these are eight boxes what is the number of uh, inside each box we have three inside each box because three times eight means a three is repeated eight times so each box will contain how many how many three so let's see these are three and we're going to break them down three alone three threes and five threes so we broke them down to three threes and five threes okay now so three times eight is three times three plus three times five now let's calculate three times three find the product of three times three you can either you either memorize it or you count by three so it's three six nine so it's nine three times five is three six nine twelve fifteen so it's fifteen so nine plus fifteen we add the ones together the nine and the fifteen and the five the nine and the five so the nine Complete 10 needs 1, so it's 10 now, and the 5 became 4, so it's 10 and 4 is 14, and we carry the 1 tens to the tens, so 1 and 1 is a 2, so it's 24. Or you can count after 15, you can count 9 after 15, okay? Let's see another example. Now 5 times 6. Here we broke down the 6 to 3 and 3. 3 and 3. So 5 times 6 is 5 times 3 plus 5 times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. And the other 5 times 3 is the same 15. 15 and 15 equal 30. And if you don't know, so it's 5 and 5. We can use the doubles. Double of 5 is 10. The double of 5 is 10. So it's 0 and carry up the 1 with the 10s. So 1 and 1 is 2 and 1 is 3. So it's 30.
Now let's see the another, another example. Now read and solve. We're going to read a word problem and understand it together and try to solve it. Now let's read. Hossam went to the apple garden. Hossam went to an apple garden. He went to a garden where he has where this garden has apples. There were 12 apples trees, 12 apple trees. So I have 12 apple trees. Let's circle this information that he gave us. 12 apple trees. And each tree has seven apples. Each tree has seven apples. How many apples were there in all the trees? This is the question that he wants me to, uh, to answer number of trees in the garden number of apples in the garden so i have 12 trees every tree has each tree has seven apples so seven and seven and seven and seven and seven 12 times so i'm going to do what addition subtraction multiplication or division i have to choose so this is a number that is repeated 12 times the 7 is repeated 12 times so I'm going to multiply let's see so I'm going I want to find 7 times 12 I don't know how to solve 7 times 12 let's use the associative property uh, sorry the uh, distributive property let's use the distributive property how will I use the distributive property I'm going to take the 12 and break it down to 10 and 2. Let's count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are 10 trees. Every tree has 7 apples. So I wrote 7 for each tree. And these two trees together, I wrote 7 on both the trees. So let's count now. now. Now I have 7 multiplied by 10, 7 multiplied by 10, 7, 10 times, and 7, 2 times, 7, 10 times, and 7, 2 times. 7 times 10 is a 70, and 7 times 2 is 14, so let's add them together. We will get 84, add the ones together, 0 and 4 gives you 4, and 7 and 1 gives you 8. Okay, let's see another example. Okay, let's see another problem. 9 times 14, I can't solve 9 times 14, so I'm going to divide... The 14. I'm going to divide this 14 to these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the 9 repeated 10 times. These are 10 nines. And how many do I have left from the 14? 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are 10 and these are 4. So it's 9 by 10, so I split the 14, or I broke down the 14. This 14, I broke it down to 10 and 4. So I broke the 14 to 10 and 4. So this is 9 times 10 and 9 times 4. So 9 times 10 is equal to 90. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Let's find the, the sum. So the units, 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 6 is 6. 3 plus 9 is 12. How did I get the 12? I took 1 from these 3 and I put it to the 9. It became 10. So 10 and 2 is 12. Okay, so thank you and goodbye.
till we meet again next lesson.